शिक्षण प्रसारक संस्थेचे शिक्षणशास्त्र महाविद्यालय संगमनेर येथील द्वितीय वर्ष बी एड प्रशिक्षणार्थी हासे मोनिका केमिस्ट्री प्रॅक्टिस लेसन नंबर दोन या व्हिडिओ मध्ये आपलं स्वागत आहे टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट द चॅप्टर नंबर थर्टीन फ्रॉम द स्टँडर्ड नाईन्थ टॉपिक इज कार्बन अँड इम्पॉर्टंट इलेमेंट सब टॉपिक वी विल कवर्ड एलेक्ट्रॉप्स ऑफ कार्बन दॅट इज अमोर्फस फॉर्म्स अँड हायड्रोकार्बन्स बिफोर वी विल स्टार्ट द चॅप्टर कार्बन अँड इम्पॉर्टंट इलेमेंट वील टेक सम इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ दॅट अकरन्स ऑफ द कार्बन मीन्स वेअर कार्बन फाउंड प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द कार्बन वी विल ऑल्सो वी आर वी ऑल्सो स्टडीड अबाउट द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द कार्बन एलेक्ट्रॉप्स ऑफ द कार्बन द फर्स्ट वन इज द क्रिस्टलाइन फॉर्म एंड द सेकंड वन इज द एमरोफस फॉर्म इन प्रीवियस चैप्टर वी स्टडीड अबाउट द क्रिस्टलाइन फॉर्म डायमंड ग्राफाइट एंड फुलेरिन वी ऑल्सो स्टडीड द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द डायमंड यूजेस ऑफ द डायमंड एंड द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द डायमंड वी ऑल्सो स्टडीड the structure of the graphite uses of the graphite and occurrence of the graphite we also studied about the fullerene what is mean by fullerene the properties of the fullerene and structure of the fullerene today we will uh, studied the topic carbon and important element and the sub topic is allotropes of carbon that is amorphous form and the second is hydrocarbon that is the saturated and unsaturated hydrocarbons non crystalline or amorphous form of carbon the arrangement of carbon atoms in the form is not regular coal coke are the non crystalline forms of carbon the first one is coal coal is a fossil fuel it contains carbon hydrogen and oxygen it also contains nitrogen phosphorus and sulfur it occurs in the solid state it is of four type the first type is peat formation of peat is the first step in the formation of coal it contains a high proportion of water and less than 60% of carbon therefore not much heat can be obtained from peat the second is lignite peat was transformed into lignite due to increased pressure and temperature inside the earth it contains 60 to 70% of carbon lignite is the second step of the formation of coal here is the diagrammatic representation of the lignite the third is bituminous coal bituminous coal was formed as the third step of formation of coal it contains 70 to 90 percent of carbon here is the diagrammatic representation of bituminous coal the fourth one is the anthracite anthracite is known as pure form of coal this coal is hard and contains about 95% of carbon this is the diagrammatic representation of the anthracite the second is the charcoal the charcoal that is made from animals is made up of from their bones horns etc on the other hand the charcoal made from plants is formed by combustion of wood in insufficient supply of air gas carbon monoxide hydrogen and carbon dioxide and nitrogen uses of coal coal is used as fuel in factories and homes coal is used to obtain coke coal gas and coal tar coal is used in thermal power plants 
for generation of electricity. Charcoal is used in purification of water and organic material. Coke. The pure coal that remains when coal gas has been taken away from coal is called coke. Uses of coke. It is used as domestic fuel. Coke is used as reducing agent. Coke is used in production of a reform fuel such as water gas that is carbon monoxide and hydrogen and producer here the diagrammatic representation of the coke now what are the hydrocarbons it is the basic organic compounds along with carbon the element hydrogen is also included in most organic compounds the compounds formed only carbon and hydrogen are called basic organic compounds these are also called hydrocarbons means the presence of carbon and hydrogen are called hydrocarbons the combined uh, form of the carbon and hydrogen are called as hydrocarbons the electronic configuration of carbon is 2 4 means in the first orbital there are two electrons and in the second orbit there are four electrons if four electrons are added to the second orbit of carbon its octet becomes complete and its electronic configuration becomes stable like that of the nearest inert gas as a neon that is 2 8 means in the first orbit there are maximum two electrons therefore in in the electronic configuration we can write as a two and in the second orbit there are eight electrons are there but electronic configuration of carbon is like two and four therefore to complete its octet uh, carbon required four electrons when it gain or lose uh, it gains the four electrons the electronic configuration of the uh, carbon becomes like the neon that is the 28 means it becomes stable in in the stable form therefore the valency of the carbon is 4 however this occurs by sharing of electron rather than a give and take of electrons in other words a carbon atom can form four covalent bonds with other carbon atoms or atoms of different elements when a carbon atom shares one electron with four hydrogen atoms and four forms four carbon and hydrogen bonds a methane ch4 molecule is formed this is the structural formula and electron dot model of the methane that is the ch4 in this diagram you can see that the central is the carbon element and it is attached to the four different hydrogen groups. This is hydrogen and carbon bonding. Carbon is attached to the four different groups. Here is the electron dot model of the methane. Means in the central carbon atom is there and hydrogens and they share their electrons and forms the bonds like this. The carbon and hydrogen bonds. To form the bond, each and uh, there are uh, required of the two electrons. You can here you can see the two electrons and the formation of the bond is there. Properties of covalent compounds. Covalent compounds have low melting points and boiling points. Generally, they are insoluble in water and soluble in organic solvents they are poor conductors of heat and electricity now what are the saturated and unsaturated hydrocarbons uh, you are studied about the hydrocarbons what are the hydrocarbons carbon and hydrogens combinedly called as a hydrocarbons they how they forms bond when the carbon and hydrogen shares the electrons and they form the bond like the uh, we studied about the methane structure 
uh, there you can see the hydrocarbons are there now what are the saturated and unsaturated hydrocarbons a carbon atom exhibits a characteristic property it can form a chain of carbon atoms by forming covalent bonds with other carbon atoms the hydrocarbons having only single bonds between carbon atoms are called saturated hydrocarbons means if carbon and hydrogen bonding is there if single bond is there between the carbon or carbon they are called as a saturated hydrocarbons the examples are ethane that is ch2h6 uh, this structure of the ethane you can write as a ch3 ch3 this is the example means here carbon and carbon bond is there uh, carbon valency is 4 therefore uh, three other uh, hydrogens are there and one carbon carbon bond is there therefore carbon atom each and every time attached to the four uh, same group or different group here carbon and carbon single bond is there therefore these uh, hydrocarbons are called as a saturated hydrocarbons the another example is propane here three carbon atoms are there and they bonded to each other by single carbon bond carbon this carbon and this carbon they are bonded in the single bond therefore they are the saturated hydrocarbon here ch3 ch2 and ch3 this is the structure of the propane that is c3 h8 it is uh, written as ch3 ch2 ch3 when the hydrocarbons having only single bonds between carbon atoms are called saturated hydrocarbons here bonding between carbon and carbon some hydrocarbons have a multiple bond between two carbon atoms means if we consider these two carbon atoms they are having more than one bond or two bonds or three bonds they are called a multiple bond can be double or triple bond means c double bond c or c triple bond c hydrocarbons having at least one multiple bond are called unsaturated hydrocarbons means when carbon and carbon having single double or triple bond they are called as a unsaturated hydrocarbon for example ethene ch2 double bond ch2 another example is ethane that is here you can see this carbon triple bond carbon and one hydrogen is attached to the carbon ethane ch triple bond ch propene ch3 ch double bond ch2 propyne ch3 c triple bond ch in this way we studied about non crystalline or amorphous forms non crystalline forms or amorphous form the arrangement of carbon atoms in the form is not regular the first form is cold there are four times peat this is the diagrammatic representation of the peat the formation of peat is the first step of the formation of the coal it contains high proportion of water and less than 60% of carbon therefore not much heat can be obtained from the peat the second is the lignite peat was transferred into lignite due to increased pressure and temperature inside the earth it contains 60 to 70% of carbon lignite is the second step of formation of coal this is the diagrammatic representation of the lignite the third one is the bituminous coal bituminous coal was formed as the third step of the formation of coal it contains 70 to 90% of the carbon this is the diagrammatic representation of bituminous coal the fourth one is the anthracite 
Anthracite is known as the pure form of coal. This coal is hard and contains about 95% of the carbon. This is the diagrammatic representation of the anthracite. The second is the charcoal. The first one is the coke and the, the second one is the charcoal. The charcoal is, that is made from animals is made from their bones, horns, etc. On the other hand, the charcoal made from plants is formed by combustion of wood in insufficient supply of air. Uses of the coal. Coal is used as a fuel in the factories and homes. Coal is used to obtain coke, coal gas and coal tar. Coal is used in thermal power plants for the generation of electricity. Charcoal is used in the purification of water and organic material. Coke, the pure coal that remains when coal gas has been taken away from coal is called coke. This is the diagrammatic representation of the coke. What are the uses of coke? It is used as the domestic fuel. Coke is used as a reducing agent. Coke is used in the production of aeriform fuel such as water gas and producer. What are the hydrocarbons? Along with the carbon, the element hydrogen is also included in the most organic compounds. The compounds formed from only carbon and hydrogen are called basic organic compounds. These are called hydrocarbons. The electronic configuration of carbon is 2,4. If four electrons are added to the second orbit of carbon, its octet becomes complete and its configuration becomes stable like that of the nearest inert gas like a neon that is 2,8. Therefore, the valency of the carbon is 4. However, this occurs by sharing of electrons rather than a give and take of electron. In other words, a carbon atom can form four covalent bonds with other carbon atoms or atoms of different elements. When a carbon atom shares one electron with four hydrogen atoms and four CH bonds, a methane CH4 molecule is formed. This is the diagrammatic representation of structural formula and electron dot model of the methane. Here, carbon and hydrogen having the single bond, carbon having the valency 4, therefore it can form maximum 4 bonds to it, with it. And here is the electron dot model of the methane. To, uh, for the formation of the bond, two electrons are required. Properties and of the covalent compounds. Covalent compounds have low melting points and boiling points. Generally, they are insoluble in water and soluble in organic solvents. They are poor conductors of heat and electricity. What are the saturated and unsaturated hydrocarbons? And a carbon atom exhibits a characteristic property. It can form a chain of carbon atoms by forming covalent bonds with other carbon atoms. The hydrocarbons having only single bonds between the carbon atoms are called saturated hydrocarbons. Means carbon-carbon single bond, they are called as saturated hydrocarbons. When the carbon-carbon having multiple bond, that is the double bond or triple bond, they are called unsaturated hydrocarbons. Means carbon-carbon double bond or carbon-carbon triple bond, they are called the unsaturated hydrocarbons. When the carbon-carbon having single bond, they are called saturated hydrocarbons. And when the carbon-carbon having double bond or triple bond, they are called unsaturated hydrocarbons. Questions. Question 1. Answer the following. What are the different types of coal? What are their uses? The second question is, explain non-crystalline forms of carbon. Third, uses of coal. Question second, fill in the blanks. The hydrocarbons having only single bonds between carbon atoms are called dash dash hydrocarbons. The pure coal that remains when coal has been taken away from coal is called dash dash. Third, filling the blanks, dash dash is a fossil fuel. Homework. Write a note on saturated and unsaturated hydrocarbons. Thank you.